Algebra 1, Unit 6 Study Guide, numbers 4 through 9. So let's simplify some exponent problems. So we have number 4, x to the negative 5. So we do not want to leave the problem with a negative exponent. So remember with a negative exponent, you simply take the reciprocal. So we're going to put the x into the denominator, and then the power becomes positive. So simplified, it's 1 over x to the positive fifth power. Number five, um, we are going to focus on numbers first and then our x's. So think of two eighths just as a fraction and we're going to simplify two eighths which simplifies to one fourth. Then we'll deal with our x variables. So we want to combine those. We are dividing x to the ninth power by x squared. When you divide same bases you can subtract those exponents. So 9 minus 2 is 7. So our final answer is x to the 7th over 4. And then we don't need to write that 1 in the numerator. All right, number 6. Now we're multiplying. So think of it as like terms. You're going to multiply your numbers together. 2 times 4 is 8. Then you're going to look at your x variables. And when we're multiplying, we add those. So 2 plus a negative 1 is just 1, so x to the first power, and now look at your y variables. So we have 5 and 3, so we'll add those. So our final answer is 8xy to the 8th. Alright, let's look at number 7. So now we're going to start with our numbers, negative 8 divided by 16. So we'll do just reduce that fraction, that'll be a negative 1 half. Now we'll combine our x variables. Notice that we are dividing x to the fifth over x to the second, so we're going to subtract those. <clears throat> Sorry, I just rewrote that. Okay, now we're going to subtract, and then look at our y variables. Um, so we have y to the fourth divided by y to the twelfth. So take the biggest exponent, which is 12, and subtract the smaller. Wherever the biggest exponent started, that's where your term ends up. So our final answer is negative x to the third over 2y to the eighth. Now, number eight, we have negative 3x to the third power. So that means we need to take the negative 3 to the third power and the x to the third power. So our final answer is negative 27 because that is negative 3 to the third power times x cubed. Now, likewise, in number 9, we are taking that entire expression to the second power. So that means everything in the numerator and denominator will be raised to the second power. So 3 to the second power is 9. x squared raised to the second power, you're going to multiply those exponents, is x to the fourth. y to the fourth raised to the second power is y to the eighth. And finally, y squared raised to the second power is y to the fourth. Now to simplify, we can combine those y's. So look at your exponent. We have 8 and 4. You're going to take the bigger exponent, subtract the smaller. 8 minus 4 is 4. All we are left in the denominator is a 1, and we don't need to write that. So our final answer is 9xy to the 4th. 